there rattling around in the game lab, and they've come up with a whole lot of stuff that I'm going to tell you about today. And you know where it all comes from, bud? The number one source for home and arcade game information, Game Pro Magazine, yeah! Down the hatch, SWAT time. Secret weapons and tactics. Things are as hot as always here in SWAT world, where we lead off with America's favorite underachiever, the Bart Man. What's up, Bart dude? How's it going? Hey, Bart. Let's go party, bud. Hey, dude. Dude, I'm in the middle of a kid. It's cool. Yeah, okay, later. Cool. Hasta, baby. This is for the NES game, The Simpsons. Now, if you're tired of running out of lives before you make it to the end, here's a trick that'll get you under lives. Watch. Enter the first building on the third level and keep walking until you reach the first platform under the air blowing pipes. Now, wait until the coins start to shoot out at you. Okay, here's the deal. For every 15 coins you collect, you earn an extra life. You can hang out as long as you want and keep racking up lives as you collect coins because there's no limit, man. Now, as long as we're into Bart Mania, we thought we'd answer a little question that has plagued the fans of the Simpsons video game since the day the cart first appeared. You know the key and the whistle you buy in stage one? Have you ever wondered what to do with them? Well, wonder no more. To use the whistle, go to the last pair of windows at the retirement home and blow it. Good old Grandpa Simpson will appear in the top window and shower you with a ton of coins. Pretty cool, huh? Then, go to the door off the Springfield retirement home where Grandpa lives and use the key. You'll warp back to Moe's Tavern where you'll have another chance to buy some more of the things that you're gonna need like bottle rockets and cherry bombs. Okay, gamers, if it's level jumping that you're into, here's some hair-raising moves for Bugs Bunny's crazy castle for the Game Boy. Use these passwords to get to any of these stages. For stage 50, enter 2TWX. Stage 60, enter YTKX. Stage 70, enter SHE2. That's right, S-H-E-2. And for stage 80, enter X-H-O-2. Let's flash those again. For stage 50, Enter 2TWX. For stage 60, enter YTKX. For stage 70, enter SHE2. For stage 80, enter XHO2. I'm Seth Thompson from Galvey Survive. I have a question on Heavy Barrel for Nintendo. I was wondering if you could show me where the six pieces to a heavy barrel are. Uh, it's no big deal, dude. The Game Maniacs have the answer for this one, so check it out. Four pieces are here in perimeter one. You'll find one at the beginning of the bridge. Then you'll find one at the end of the bridge. right where the yellow tank appears. And at the base of the building to the right of where the tank appears. In perimeter two, there's one piece in the last locker before you reach the second elevator. You'll find the sixth piece located in the first locker on the right-hand side in perimeter three. And there you go, bud! A fully powered heavy barrel! <laughs> Happening question, bud. Now, for the rest of you gamer dudes, just keep them coming in, okay? 
Watch for the address at the end of the show. An awesome tip to get your hidden treasures in Fantasia. So stick around, bud. It's Game Pro. <laughs> hard, dude. Shady's a stud. Secret weapons and tactics. Wow, very awesome. As we start to get into the new SNES games, we're catching on to some totally hot, cool tricks. This stuff is so super fresh that when we figure it out, you will be the first to know. Here's one for the Darius twin. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, yeah! Now, if you're finding this game tough to master, and who isn't? Here's a trick that'll let you start the game with 50 men. All right, here's what you do. Now, you may need a friend to help you with this one, because it kind of requires a lot of finger work at one time, so listen up. First, bring up the title screen. Now, hold down the top left and top right buttons. OK, at the same time, hold down the select buttons on both controller one and two. Cool. That's where your friend may come in handy. Now, if you did this right, you can begin the game with 50 men. Let's try that out one more time. First, bring up the title screen. Next. Controller. All right. <laughs> Very cool. You know, here's a hot one for Fantasia for the Genesis game system that'll net you a whole bunch of hidden items. Watch this. While you're in level one, Wait for the first marching broom to come out. Once you see it, lead it to the far left of the screen. OK, now when it gets all the way to the left, leap in the air and bounce on top of the broomstick. A spell book with three extra magic blasts and five bonus items will appear on the stairs. Go, Mickey. Here's one that's hot off the screen, okay, bud? This game is barely hitting the stores, but the Game Lab Gizmo Gods managed to get their hands on Wizardry 2, bud, Knight yes. of Diamonds. Yeah, yeah cool. it's for the NES. Now, remember that our techies check these carts out in four different categories, okay? That's right, dude, you know it. They check for graphics, sound effects, whether the game gives you monster challenge, and finally, the fun factor. That is, just how much fun is this game to play? Well, dude, I hope it's majorly fun, you know what I'm saying? It better be. Yeah, we've been waiting for this cart to make it to the screen. And now that we've got it between our thumbs, we're stoked to report that Wizardry fans, you will not be disappointed. No. For this cart to make any sense, you need to understand the legend of the Staff of Nilda. So here's how it goes. The action occurs in the city of Ligament, a town which was once invulnerable to bad guys due to the magical powers of the Staff of Nilda. There was, however, one most serious problem with this setup. You see, anyone who was born in the city of Ligamon was not affected by the staff's magical powers, so as long as the dudes were born in the city were cool, no problemo. But if there was a bad guy born in the city, well, you know the story. One bad apple can ruin a whole city of Ligamon. <laughs> so that's where Davilpuss comes in. You see, Davilpuss staged a coup and knocked off the entire family, with the exception of Princess Magda and her brother, Prince Alvik, who got away. Now, Alavik was able to beat up the bad dude Davipus in the castle of Ligament. So you think the story's over now, right, bud? Wrong! No way! As Davipus fell, he uttered a curse so heinous that he took out himself, the castle, Alavik, and the magic staff, and that is where you come in. It's up to you to rescue the staff or the city's history. You do this by leading a party of six down and dirty brawlers, each with his own special skill. Now, some of these skills are pretty cool, like the fighter who does some awesome head bashing, and the mage who has the power to roast monsters alive. 